hi everyone so i thought i'd make a video on how to make vegetable thyme um or feeding time in general for your rabbit or guinea pig a bit more entertaining so this is just going to be probably a quick video hopefully because i just want to make it really quickly um but what you'll need is your vegetables um so i've just got carrots which we've grown they're only little baby ones a bit of pepper a little bit of lettuce a little bit of spring greens and loads of dandelions um i'm not using that carrot because i'm going to use the little ones which we grew you'll also need um paper bags this is just one from kfc um you leave any paper bags or cardboard boxes so i've got a bit of both i've got another primark bag in the shed but i'm just going to make three. Oh, i'm out of breath again um and you'll also need some straw or hay so i've got my straw there and i've just got my hay there which i'm going to be using so i'm probably going to be using this one because it is thicker so i'm just going to put this over here so yeah i'm just going to show you what to do now So you've just seen me like stuff the boxes and the paper bag with straw. Um, the straw's not for eating purposes, it's just to sort of like bulk up the box a bit more and make it a bit more fun. Um, that way they'll also have to forage a bit more just to get the vegetables and other stuff. Um, so at the moment the bunnies are both in, literally I've only just done it, it's about 6 o'clock. Um, and I've just let the piggies in this little area while I'm making veggies because they've been weaking. Can you pig? Huh? Oh, does my finger smell like vegetables? What are you doing? What are you doing? You want to nibble my finger, don't you? So, this is where you're going to need um, something like this. I forgot the name for it. It's like colander or something. And then something to actually chop up the vegetables. And that's just got old stuff on it. So, yeah, you just want to put that to one side. And then, what I'm going to begin with is just chopping the tops off these carrots. So, yeah, I'll just do that now. So I'm now just left with the little carrots. So what I'm going to do is just chop these up to little tiny pieces. And I've just put the um, carrot tops in there. I've like turned them up a bit just so they can fit in the boxes in the bag. So yeah, I'm just going to chop these up now. So this does look like loads and loads and loads of vegetables. But as you've seen, most of it was actually carrot tops and um, dandelion leaves. So yeah, you can just do just a little bit of lettuce, just a little bit of pepper and then just a little bit of carrot. And it's manual greens, but um, the peas and bunnies are going to love this, so... Yeah, I'm just going to wash it now. So now I've laid dry off for a little bit. It's still a bit wet but I'm just going to start putting stuff in the boxes so I'm just going to basically take a handful so as you can see it's mainly um, dandelion and a noisy car dandelion carrot top so as you can see I've just put a handful in there and what I'm going to do is just mix it around a bit and this makes it a lot more interactive and fun for your for your rabbit or guinea pig and I'm actually just going to add where are they just a few carrots and then a bit of pepper and mix it about again and now I'm just going to take some hair and then put that on top And then just finish that off with just a little bit more like that and then that's all that's basically how you make your rabbit and guinea pigs um vegetable time or forage time or something a bit more interesting and fun so i'm just gonna do the other one and then yeah i'll be back another thing you could do is basically go into your bunnies um or piggies if they're in a hutch um or whatever their accommodation is go into their like nesting sort of area or their little bedroom and fill it like this with straw and hay and then bury the 
stuff you want to bury to make it a bit more fun in there so i haven't done this because i've made the forage boxes and stuff um but all you have to do is just move a bit out of the way and then put the vegetables under there cover it over and your bunny or bleh, 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 your bunny or piggy will have fun trying to dig that out um where's the d come on your bedroom come on your bedroom So as you can see, um, for the piggies, I've just like sort of tilted the box over a little bit. Um, but for the bunnies, what I will be doing, well for Diego, because it will be in Diego's run, when I put him to bed, um, I'm going to be standing the box up. And as you can see, I've got put his paper bag and he's absolutely loving that. Yeah, he found these pellets. Um, but yeah, that is what I do to sort of um, make my small animals meal time a little bit better and a little bit more interactive and fun for them um, so then that instead of basically just dishing them out dishing the vegetables or forage or whatever out on a plate if you put it in a box or paper bag they really do enjoy it as you can see this they're just gonna start getting rolled in the box um yeah she's a big piggy now aren't you philly pig always first to the food as well hello sorry girl sorry 